السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ فرینڈس ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی چینل ان دس ویڈیو وی ول ڈسکس دس از این آئسولیٹڈ پاور سپلائی اف آئی کنیکٹ دس ٹیسٹر ہیئر ان دا آؤٹ پٹ سائڈ اٹ شوڈ ناٹ ون آف مائی ویور ہی رائٹ می مائی ٹیسٹر از گلوئنگ آن آؤٹ پٹ ٹرمینل اٹ از اے نارمل الیکٹریکل ٹیسٹر وین وی کنیکٹ ٹو لائن اینڈ نیوٹرل لائن اور نیوٹرل اٹ گلوز ہیئر it gives that the phase or the line components is available but if you connect here it must not glow why because it have an isolation if we check with the multimeter in the output side with ground terminal it is approximately 3.6 volt ac in the positive side it is 4.3 volt low side it is 3.94 volt we can say when this chassis will connect it to this metallic part so all points will come together and all common mod noises will ground it our friend write message that my tester is glowing on output terminal is it okay like that i checked another smps it glows tester can you explain why it's okay when earth is connected he says with two wire operation it gives the indication here if he operate with three three wire that line neutral and ground at that time there is no tester indication no live component in the output side what is the reason let's discuss if you see the smps line and neutral there is a differential mode component that is class x if any noise will come from line to neutral and it will discharge at high frequency spike in this motion if there is a common mode noise that will be removed through this class y capacitors to the chassis in the dc rail the primary side ground that is most of the time connected through this capacitor if we look in two wire operation line and neutral is applied to bridge and bridge will provide dc voltage these dc voltage are provided to this main bulk capacitor that is here positive negative now the current will flow from this switching device to prime rewinding and it will complete its path this switching noises because it have a high frequency switching to remove this switching noises we have emi filter the noise will be removed through this class y capacitors if any noise comes from here in common mode in one line or in neutral it will be removed then we have another class y capacitor that is connected between primary ground secondary ground that is here any common mod noise in secondary side due to load due to transformer switching spikes all these noises will removed through primary ground and it will connected to chassis and chassis will connected to good earth now we will see what are the possible causes possible reasons for this issue it is a normal operation if you look at this power supply this is a very nicely designed and it have a low noise profile the line voltage from this terminal to fuse here is fuse after fuse immediately it is connected to a capacitor here and it is connected to the chassis so this one it is class y protection capacitor here it is connected between line and the chassis chassis is here in any case if this capacitor becomes short circuit these line voltage will transfer to chassis first condition if we see neutral is reaching here and then it is coming here 
Then here we have second canister at this side. It is connected to chassis. That is here. The inside capacitor. Here we have two class Y capacitors. So this capacitor will connect this noise to chassis. If noise here or if noise here will reach to the chassis. After that we have this filter. Where is that filter? Filter is here. Class X capacitor and inductor. Basically the function of this filter that is differential mod filter if any noise will try to enter from here or try to go back from inside to outside it have tank circuit it is a tuned filter so it will not allow noise component to go outside or anything to enter inside so it will attenuate that noise and any other spike which is more than its value it will be removed through class Y capacitors. That is here. I just only show the class X capacitor. Here is inductor. Because our discussion is totally class Y capacitors. Then this voltage will reach in chassis. After rectifier, we have another capacitor that is DC rail capacitor that is connected at negative terminal of this bridge, this bridge rectifier. As I discussed, this power supply is nicely designed. It have a many class Y noise removers. So here is another capacitor. It will remove all noises in the DC rail. If there is any spike in the DC rail, it will remove from here and it will discharge to the chassis. This capacitor, that is class Y capacitor here, which I removed from this point. If it, it is short circuit, in that case, it will connect the primary ground with the secondary ground. In normal operation, it will isolate. It will provide isolation and just only high frequency harmonics will travel from, from secondary ground to primary ground. But if it, it becomes short circuit internally because it is the worst behavior of the capacitor, if it becomes open, that means it works at it is not present but if it becomes short circuit that is the biggest problem of this class Y capacitors that these deliver line components are live components in the chassis when we have metallic chassis these become a big problem now in this scenario we can see one capacitor second third fourth and in this design, it is also using, for safety purpose, it is also providing class Y capacitor here with the chassis, here with the chassis. Any class Y capacitor become short circuit, it will cause to provide AC component or the floating voltage in the output side. This noise might be due to the failure of the capacitor or mismatched the filter network, EMI filter then it can cause to float the chassis. That voltage can cause to interrupt in the output secondary section. Then there is a transformer insulation. If due to excessive temperature, due to any reason, if the insulation becomes weak or sometimes if the primary becomes physically touched with the secondary winding, DC component or the primary AC live component will travel in the secondary. That can be also a cause to remove its isolation because when physical connection, physical electrical connection is made with primary and secondary, that can be a reason for the appearance of AC component in the output side. Sometimes some MOSFETs have a metallic tab is connected here and its insulation paper its insulator might be it is plastic insulator mica insulator or any kind kind of insulator if it becomes leak so this leakage can cause also transfer the line components in the chassis it can also cause to blow the neon of this tester inspect this insulator 
try to remove one by one class Y capacitors to isolate the problem. If any capacitor is delivering voltage in the chassis, that can be eliminated, that can be detected by removing it. Most failure component that is this class Y capacitor that is connected between the primary and secondary grounds. If these steps are not useful, then you have to test the insulation. You can use MAGGER, you can use insulation tester between primary and secondary. Between primary and secondary, it have 2 volt. So if this voltage between the ground input and secondary side, if we have a higher voltage than 10 volt, 15 volt, that means there is a some there is something wrong so we have to detect if you connect this four three four volts that are floating it is acceptable if this voltage will increase between line and ground it is 7.7 .7 volt 8 volt and approximately 23 volts between the earthing point and line that means there is something wrong might be our this capacitor might be it is interrupting it is giving 21 volts between line and the chassis and chassis is connected to good earth it can also cause burn this fuse between this point and the output terminal 2.5 volt AC that is acceptable we can remove this capacitor and then we will measure voltage. We will remove this capacitor, the inside AC line capacitor, then we have, we have to measure the voltage. One by one, these components we will remove and we will check which component is interrupting, which component is making problem. If we see this power supply, from here, line and neutral, these are entered here, line neutral line is passing through this fuse and then line will reach here and neutral is reaching this upper side at this point there is a class x capacitor choke dual line filter after passing through this dual line filter the second end we have one capacitor here second capacitor here it is connected to this point and these are connected to the chassis, the metallic chassis. Then we have a third capacitor here that is connected between the secondary ground and the chassis because it have to remove the spikes. If any pair, this with this or this with this will lose its specifications then the line component will pass to the output side. If you look this power supply, line and neutral, there is just only a class X capacitor that is here. Then it is providing a earthing point here. But luckily there is just only a one terminal for chassis and there is no class X cap class Y capacitor between these points and there is just only one component one class Y capacitor here between the secondary section and the primary section there is just only one capacitor this one if it will become short circuit in that case it can cause to drive the voltage in the output side then the next chance in this power supply that is the insulation of this transformer if it is using plastic tape it cannot touch to the chassis but always use some insulator here friends i hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any question please let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh